So today I'm going to be covering what is very often the missing piece in the downswing. And I'm going to share with you a simple exercise that can help you feel this, get this right, and you can be well on your way to some much better golf. So the missing piece in the downswing. What is it? How do we get it? How do we feel it? Well, we're going to share all that with you today in this video. We are talking about something called side bend. Now, before we get into the video, if you're new here, you're not a subscriber, I'd love you to be part of the community. It is absolutely free to be a subscriber. You just need to click the link, which is somewhere down here, and just hit the little bell icon as well. That just means you'll be notified when I do release a new video. And quickly, Below you'll see uh, an information, some information for one of my training courses. There are training courses available now on my website, chrisryangolf.com. You can click the little link here, that'll take you over there. I really believe they can help you take your game to the next level. So let me run through a really common scenario that I would see, um, and I've got a funny feeling that this might well be familiar to you. To you. So a golfer might have a golf lesson or potentially they might just video their own golf swing and they see that at impact, they are very, very square onto the target with their body. We often see that coupled with a poor impact position and often a kind of flippy impact position. So let's say this is a golf lesson and that golfer gets told that they need to be more open at impact. All the best players have their body open. It's going to help them get the handle forward, it's gonna help them do all those things that we really want. So there's a little bit of work and we try and get the golfer really open at impact. And suddenly what happens, the game gets terrible. They start to very often hit shanks. They very often start to hit shots that go kind of way to the left. They really struggle with consistency. And the idea of getting open actually made them worse. That goes on for a couple of weeks and then it's just all too easy to revert back to the old swing, which isn't correct, but actually gives them better results. So is that something you've experienced? It wouldn't surprise me if a lot of you have experienced that. So you know, drop down to the comments box, let me know if that's something you've struggled with. Trying to get the body more open because you believe that's the right thing to do, and it often is, but when you do that, you just get terrible, terrible shots. Well, there's a reason for that and it is something called side bend. And today in this video, I'm gonna share with you a drill, which I think could well be the first time that you've ever really felt the right sequence of the downswing and it's going to really kind of open your mind as to what you should be doing. So why is that the case? Why do we see those poor shots? Well, let's just move my club into a sort of halfway back position here. And when I start to rotate towards the target, that movement of rotation is something which moves the hands and the club, what I would call outward. So you can see as I start to add rotation, the hands and the club go outward. So when we get to the top of our golf swing, if we have that instruction of this golfer needs to get more open, and we start to focus on rotating our body, very often we see this, you know, we see that club moving too far out. We start to see the club delivered too far away from your body. That's where those shanks come from. And it can just be really difficult to achieve a desirable impact when we have that movement. What we have to do is have something which we call side bend. And I'm going to show you with a really simple little exercise how you can feel that. And then we're going to take that through to a little drill with a golf club and get you to kind of put it all together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a lima stick. I'm going to put this through my belt loop. So I'm going to try and make sure it's fairly long out this side. And this one's going to go across my shoulders. Now, watch what happens when I take my address. And I want you to pay attention to these two ends of the alignment stick and how far apart they are. Now, as I make a little backswing, and you can see that distance there, when I get told that I need to be more open, if I make this movement here, then you can see that when I arrive at the golf ball, I clearly haven't got a club, but if I did, I would be significantly open. But notice how the difference between these two is pretty much the same as what it was at the top. This is the poor move. This is what's gonna give you the issues. Watch what happens when I do this correctly. I go back and then the instruction is I need to get more open. There would be my impact. Now just look at the difference in the ends of those alignment sticks. What's happened? They've touched. They have connected down here. I've created a little cross in those alignment sticks. How to do that? What was the difference in that first movement and the second movement? 
Well, it was that movement that we mentioned at the start. It's called side bend. So side bend is effectively when we take our upper body and we tip it this way. And you'll notice that when I do that, this alignment stick moves closer to the one on my hips. So isolating side bend would be this movement here. Now, obviously, we don't sort of isolate it in the goal thing. It's happening all at the same time. But if side bend is my trail shoulder getting closer to my trail hip, which is this movement here, that's what we need to do as we're adding rotation. So just let me show you that again. We go up to the top and then watch as I start to work on getting my hips open. Notice how those alignment sticks collide. If this was my impact position, just look at how open my hips are. That's exactly what I want. But notice how my right shoulder is lower, which is causing those alignment sticks to hit. What we don't want is from the top, this rotation move to create this. This is what really gives us those shanks, those poor shots. This movement is why you'll really struggle to hit better shots when you try and get open. We have to, as we open, we have to get these alignment sticks to touch. This, I would absolutely encourage you to this drill because you can do this wherever you are now, if you're just at home or in the office or even at the driving range, try this little exercise. It could well be, like I said a few moments ago, it could well be the first time you really ever felt that combination of really rotating the lower body, but having the upper body work correctly above it. So important. So just have a few little ideas, you know, have a few little reps. And as you're starting to make these movements, you know, just start to think to yourself, how is that different to this? It's a very, very different move. This is the over the top move when we start to rotate. This is the move we want when we do it correctly. So how do we take that through to a golf club? Well, here's what I want you to do. You can see I've got my golf ball there and I'm gonna just tee that ball up because I want this to be a little bit easier for me to hit. I'm just gonna take an alignment stick and I'm just gonna pop it into the ground at a relatively shallow angle. And you might have to, you know, just experiment a little bit with where that alignment stick goes, but that's pretty good there. So it's, I don't know, maybe some four feet back from the golf ball and it's sort of pointing just inside of the target line. And I should be able to make a backswing fairly comfortably, not hitting that alignment stick. Now, watch what happens as I start to make that rotation move, but don't have the side bend. Well, if I rotate without the side bend, suddenly I'm unable to get the golf club to the golf ball without making some contact with the alignment stick. That was the wrong move and I get that sort of highlighted to me by that alignment stick. Try this one again, up to the top. This time I'm gonna try and get my hips as open as I can, but this time adding the side bend allows me to get that club into that delivery position. If you look at my body shape, notice how my trail shoulder is much closer to my trail hip. That's the side bend that we wanted. That's what enables me to get the golf club coming down on the right angle, even though I'm trying as hard as I can to get myself open really important. So this would be the next little exercise with a golf club up, open the legs, club misses the alignment stick. Rotate the lower body, club misses the alignment stick. So I'm really starting to get myself open with my lower body, which does allow me to get the handle forwards. It does allow me the space to keep my arms extended and my elbows close, but I'm still able to deliver the club with that neutral path so important, I'm still able to strike the middle. And doing this little exercise will help you get more open and actually play better golf, which is all what we want, really. So many times, getting open creates poorer golf. So what would be the next phase? Well, the next phase would be to just have a little bit of a motion with it. So we would take a setup, we would find our top, we would work it down, and we would chip some golf balls. Now you can clearly see that ball's gone no more than about 20 yards through the air. It wasn't a particularly good strike, but this is kind of the stage is what they have to go through. Really important that I stress to you at this stage of your practice, we're not looking to hit perfect shots. We're looking for you to understand what you're trying to do, understand how the body needs to be organized and do that at a speed which allows you to feel those things too fast. And you're never ever gonna be able to understand or feel those movements. So this time, do the same again. but a little bit more speed. And again, you can say nice and straight, but it went maybe twice the distance. 
So all of these drills, there are some phases you have to go through and understanding these phases is vitally important to your development. Trying to do this drill at full speed, you probably won't be able to do it and you'll just revert back. So start slow, understand the movement, then introduce a golf ball, then start to use the golf club to hit the golf ball and start at slow speed, then start to build up the speed. We have to go through this process. That's the only real way that you're gonna appreciate and understand how to do it and make sure that you're ticking all of those phases before you step on to the next one. So, side bend is very, very often the missing piece of the puzzle when golfers are looking to create a better impact, get more open, but we have to have that side bend for those movements to actually create some better shots. And that one is a pretty awful strike, <laughs> but we'll blame that on being pretty early in the morning and not having a lot of warm up shots. But hopefully the drills showed you that uh, I was making the right color movements. We'll just kind of gloss over that shot a little bit there. Right, side bend, make sure you add it into your downs because if you don't have it, you're not gonna play great golf. You are gonna strike it poorly and you're gonna be inconsistent and you're not gonna play the golf that you want. Adding side bend in is vitally important. That drill will help you feel it. Those little processes will help you do it with a club at full speed. And I really hope this video helps and there's something practical that you can take into your golf game next time you practice. Thanks for watching. Usual stuff is down below and hopefully I will see you back here again for another video very soon.